to be a good kid. Hi, how are you? Why fit in when you are born to stand out? Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. If you can dream it, you can do it. Education is the key to unlocking the world, a passport to freedom. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Be honest and trusting. Good boys and girls tell the truth. You may have heard this said to you, and it is usually true. But the bigger picture is that honesty is a key part of building relationships based on trust. This will benefit you as a child and as an adult, manage your emotions. Every one of us, including adults, sometimes gets angry, frustrated, whiny, or stressed out. There is no way to deny or avoid these emotions and it would be unhealthy to do so anyway. However, you can work on recognizing and managing your emotions more effectively. Learning to control anger is one of the most important lessons for children. When you feel anger welling up, simple steps like taking deep breaths in the nose and out the mouth and counting to five can help you calm and contain it. Accept your responsibilities. It is easy to say that a good child listens to their parents and other authority figures and does what they are told. While this is normally true, it is more important that children learn to take responsibility for what they need to do. As a child who strives to be your best, you need to accept that there are things you have to do for the benefit of yourself and others. The goal of being a good child is not really about giving your parents a little less grief, though they will welcome that. Good children learn qualities that will help them become happy, successful, good adults. Expect imperfection and learn from your mistakes. Even the best kids make plenty of mistakes. It is part of growing up and simply of being human. The important thing is what you do with your imperfections. Learning from mistakes is a sign of maturity and is sure to be appreciated by your parents. If you did poorly on a big test because of a lack of preparation, are you ready to accept the importance of studying? If you were grounded for talking back to your mother in public, do you now understand the importance of showing respect? When a thoughtful, maturing child makes such mistakes, she learns from them and moves forward better off for it. Expect imperfection and learn to solve problems yourself. Children who are seen as bad because of bad behavior often have trouble dealing with their problems in the proper way. Confusion and frustration often lead to bad decisions. But being able to recognize and solve problems puts you on a path towards self-reliance and confidence. Remember how proud your parents were when you put a puzzle together by yourself or wrote your own name. Even when you learned to unlatch the kitchen cabinet and made a giant mess everywhere, there was probably some pride mixed in because parents know the importance of self-reliance and problem-solving skills in the adult world. Know when to ask for help. As we just discussed, learning to recognize and solve problems yourself is an important skill for kids and adults. But, just as important as being able to recognize and accept when you need help dealing with a problem. It doesn't help you to quit on your math homework without trying to figure it out yourself. But it is also not useful to refuse to ask for help when you need it because you insist on doing everything yourself. No child or adult can solve every problem herself. Your parents want to give you assistance when you need it and will see your willingness to ask as a positive sign. Don't expect them to solve every problem for you though, that is a sign of immaturity. How do you know when to keep trying to solve a problem yourself and when to ask for help? There is no secret formula, you have to trust yourself to make the decision. Have you given the problem your best effort? Are you out of ideas for how to deal with it? If so, then it is probably time to ask for assistance.